Hey guys, real quick, I wanted to show you something uh, uh, since I'm doing an oil change on this excursion, uh, and that's how to do the top end oil. So the high pressure oil system has this reservoir on top of the motor, and that holds oil to feed the high pressure oil system. And I prefer to change that oil. So when you drop the oil out the traditional way through the oil pan, it doesn't drain that reservoir. So I'm gonna show you a couple things I put together to, uh, to do that. And you'd be surprised how, um, much better the truck will run after after you do this a couple times um it's one of those things that you know most people don't know to do and it can really improve the the um, longevity of your engine so let's show you how to do it so basically it's you know we're gonna remove this fancy power stroke cover um which is incredibly loose and then we're gonna pull uh the plug out and Drain that oil, whatever. I'm an idiot. Oh, I was talking while I was moving, wasn't I? Dang it. Uh, I think it's a 13. It's probably a 13, because that's what I have in the house. No, 14. 14 will do it. So there's a 14 millimeter uh, socket, deep ball socket. We'll reach in there and get those. Hopefully, I don't snap one off, because that happens from time to time. And you'll be able to tell if anyone's ever done this, because if this cover comes off easy, I mean somebody, yep, somebody like me huh, has done this a time or two. Okay, so clearly this has never been done. It took me longer to find the right tool. Okay, so now that we have all the right stuff, which took forever. So we're gonna remove this plug. I don't think anyone has ever done this on this truck before. I just bought it. So so you can see we removed that plug and then we're going to take this. Um, I bought this at uh, Tractor Supply a few years ago. It's basically a hand vacuum pump. So we're going to take this hose. We're going to stick it down in here just like that. And then we're going to pull that oil out. And it's really as simple as that. Um, so we're going to do that, we're going to pull that oil out, and it's really just that simple. Uh, and like I said, I like to, especially when I first get a truck like this one, uh, I like to do it three times. Uh, so we'll pull the oil, vacuum it out until it runs out, we will uh, fill it back in, obviously, and then we'll run the truck for about five minutes, let everything cycle through, and then we'll pull it again. Uh, replace it, let the truck run five more minutes, pull it one last time, and then once we refill it, we'll be all done. Um, you can see how how much you know thick and sludge this is. I ran the truck before I changed the oil. It got up to operating temperature, so you know clearly this stuff's been in there the whole time.
gets everything drained out of it. So now we can start the process of refill. The way I did this is I took an old turkey baster and I took the bulb off, obviously, and that fits down in there nice. And then I take a small funnel and put it on the top like that. Now we can refill it. You got to go slow because if you put in too, well, if you put in too much too fast, it'll spill all over the top of the engine, obviously. Um, but the sort of nice thing about this is once you get it too full, it, um, it drains back into the crankcase. So it's not that big. So I'll do this, let it drain down. It holds a little over a quart, if I have memory serves me correctly. Oops. I made a mess. And you can look down in there and see if it's full and it's good. So we'll go ahead and put this plug back in. Okay. Now we'll start it up, let it run for five minutes, and then uh, Repeat that process uh, a couple more times, and that's it. Um, maybe we can say um a few more times. So it's that really that easy. Uh, like I said, we'll run the engine for about five minutes, and then at the end of that five minutes, we'll drain it, refill it again, run it for another five minutes, drain it, refill it again, and we'll be all done. So uh, thanks for checking out the video, guys. Uh, if you have any tips or, or tricks you want to share, or you know have any questions, as always, let us know. Um, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.